Good morning from Montelme in France. That was the little Jeep that we had last night. Really nice little place. Three floors, park the bikes just outside. Uh, it's a nice little town, not a lot going on here. It's pretty quiet. Um, if you're coming in this region and want one place to stay overnight, it's perfect. There's a little snack bar around the corner. Uh, there's a couple of restaurants of Boulangerie where we had breakfast. From here, we're gonna head north again through the northern part of the Ardennes forest heading up towards Lille and then we'll skirt around that and then up in Ypres. coming past and it seemed remiss not to stop here if you like your Belgian beer you will know Chimay very well I came here a few years ago quite a few years ago in my VW bus to uh, a VW event the weather has been kind of us it looked like we were gonna get a threat of rain today and uh, that seems to have disappeared and then we've got a couple of hours of just beautiful roads like this through Belgium heading up to Ypres. Uh, the last bit will disappear onto a bigger road to go around the outside of Lille. Lille is one of the cities where they've got a low emission zone and uh, because originally I wasn't planning to go through it I didn't apply for the crit air. I could do that, you could do it online, you could pay you four euros but we'll go around it, that's fine. It's been fun, Charlie's having fun. Behind me there, we've got nice relaxed roads, places to see, food to eat, it's all good. Don't judge us, but we've just been riding in torrential rain again. Decided we wanted something warm and quick and easy, and a Burger King appeared out of nowhere. Uh, we're just on the outskirts of Ypres now. Oh, I say outskirts, we're probably about an hour away. So a bit of an eventful journey with the rain but we've come up trumps with where we're staying in Ypres. The yeah. entry from the street into a garage where you could get six bikes easily I would say. Get out, get out of the way, get out of the way, wait, no! We're both doing it! So sorry about that, I was really interrupted by Charlie coming down the stairs filming. You never thought you'd worked in television would you? If you're not into steep steps it's not the place for you to be fair. Well, we come upstairs, we have a nice big bathroom, nice big lounge, kitchen area, coffee machine, all that business. There's a dartboard, but I can't find the darts. Whose horse is that? I'm assuming you'd put them away because you wouldn't trust people throwing them around in his lovely house. And then we've got these steps. Yeah, um, I'm just going to Airbnb for the night and she's just found like a the first house. bedroom where yeah, Charlie is nicked because he needs to get the loo probably more than I do during the night. Uh, it's because you're old. Uh, and then there's the second bedroom through here. Um, 
great little place and not expensive. I booked it through booking.com. I think it was less than £100 a night for the two of us. Perfect. It was less than a kilometre from the Menin Gate. So we're going to go down into town, get something to eat and then go to the last post at the Menin Gate because I've been here a few times and I've never been here in the evening to do that. Enjoying your beer, Charlie. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying my beer terribly. It's very nice. Wipes times. Very nice. Very nice. day so far it's about 11 o'clock we've been and had breakfast but there's not a lot of places to go to now we're just staying relatively local nice big garage <laughs> see how that's off Okay, after this Nissan, oh, a minor cyclist. Oh, oh. oh my god. <laughs> the bike feels very light. Today is uh, just, we're going to be looking at some of the battlefields around the area. There's four major battlefields, or four major battle sites around Ypres, which attributed to over 250,000 allied casualties and there's some 150 cemeteries dotted around all very close to one another I think the whole route is about 25 kilometers but obviously we'll spend time at each one and the weather is getting better every minute the bikes have been fantastic Charlie can give you his impression on the trans out having done the first sort of big international trip Africa Twin is perfect for this sort of stuff, it's been brilliant. Super comfy even with the luggage. The aluminium panniers have been really handy. Yeah, they are bigger and heavier. Makes the bike quite wide, but the ability just to easily stuff stuff in it and lock it up has been good. Let's go and do some exploring and then uh, I'll show you where we end up next.
Hill 60 was the site of bitter fighting over literally just metres of land. It was held by German troops from the 16th of December 1914 up until the 17th of April 1915 when it was captured after the explosion of five mines by the British 5th Division. On the 5th of May it was recaptured by the Germans and it remained in German hands until the Battle of Messines in June 1917 after many months of underground fighting and two huge bombs were detonated. At the end of April 1918 it passed into German hands again and it was finally retaken by British troops on the 28th of September 1918. In the broken tunnels beneath this enclosure, many, many British and German dead are buried and the hill is preserved, so far as nature will permit, in the state in which it was left after the Great War. So as we leave Tynecott Cemetery, it's obvious that this part of the world is heavily influenced by World War I. It's one of those places that I know many of you would have been to. If you haven't been here and you've got an interest, then you definitely need to come and visit some of these places. Very poignant, gets you thinking. And that's probably at this point now that uh, I'm going to end the video in terms of the journey. So we have one more night here in Ypres before we disappear back home tomorrow and again that's going to be a black up the motorway to the tunnel and then across and then home so i'm not even going to bother putting the cameras on the bike to film that but what we probably will do is sit down tonight with a beer and have a chat about the trip and then we can wrap the video up from there so thank you for coming along and uh, we'll see you in a bit yeah, whilst the bike's in the garage here in Ypres, i'll give you a quick run through of my luggage setup there she is, what a beautiful girl. So I've got the Trax aluminium luggage, medium one on this side, large one on this side. And I've done that because I'm traveling obviously with cameras and a laptop and all that sort of stuff. And I wanted somewhere to lock it away so that it's secure. But I also didn't want to put too much weight on the top in terms of taking the top box as well. Because on top I've got a dry bag 260. That's got my tent in it and chain lube and rock straps and shoes and stuff like that to get that all away in a nice waterproof bag. Behind that, I've got my trusty road pack. That's got my waterproofs in it, so stuff that I need to access really quickly and easily. Then I've got my Pro City tank bag in here just with wallet and documents and cloths and this camera. So I've got easy access to that. So that's my set up for a week's worth of stuff and i've got room to spare uh, it's worked really well I'm not necessarily a massive fan of aluminium panniers but they've been really practical i can lock them to the bike the rack is obviously locked to the bike and i can lock stuff away quickly and easily and it stays waterproof and they're really easy to pack chuck in stuff in the top what a fabulous place this is and there's charlie in his pants 
So here we go, last night. We've just been to the free tour again because weirdly everything seems to be shut. <laughs> There's nobody around again. It's a bit like being back in the Arden. Which I'm not complaining about. No, 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 it's that's fine. Nice. So we're just having a little wander and uh, we're gonna head down and grab an ice cream. But I thought it was a good opportunity to kind of sum up the trip. So we've done, so far, about 1,700 kilometers. So the, the idea was not to do tons of mileage. We're trying to make it manageable. We've had a bit of rain, which has been a bit of a shame on a couple of days, but we had a few days where we had glorious sunshine. And I've not really involved Charlie much in these, a lot of these videos, unfortunately. He's been a, just as well. Probably he's been a silent, partner what's your what's been your favorite part of the trip um everything about sw motet was lovely um, i'm not saying that for any particular reason the, they were lovely people they're a really nice company and the gear is great um so that's what's been good the bikes have been fantastic yes they um, have through absolutely driving rain the day before and yesterday and they didn't miss a beat the roads have been fantastic road manners have been brilliant it's just been amazing really and we have been incredibly lucky i think we probably had four hours rain in the entire it, well if that days. maybe if yeah that, i've had a chance to work out bits of kit that i don't need bits of kit that i do need and that yep. has all been really useful it's been really good fun yes it has and uh, we haven't spent that much money. <laughs> we booked everything through booking.com. That's worked really well. We've been able to cancel move bits around uh, at no cost. Comms worked really good. Comms really, really good, well. yeah, that was really and good. And really important, like those tiny little moments where you know we slightly get separated or the nav's just gone down for that split second. And you know, and I'm just like, T, where are you, mate? And he's like, oh, I'm up here and that's fine. Turn right, turn right. And it's been great. And the bells are very beautiful and ringing. The bell. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been good fun. The only thing I didn't, we didn't, I didn't quite get sorted out, which was a bit of a shame, was getting a recording of both of us on the comms, um, and that's probably good for you as viewers because uh, largely we've been talking bollocks whilst we've been riding. Mostly, there's a lot of that going on. You've missed out some of Charlie's singing, so maybe we'll <laughs> we'll get him to do some of that a little bit later on. But uh, yeah, it's been a good trip. I'll put lots of details down in the in the bits down below details of the hotels uh, I will find when I get my website sorted out I will put the GPX files for the routes if anybody wants to pick those up they can do that from there and I think uh, all that leaves me to say is until next time thanks for watching take care ride safe and I'll see you soon bye, bye.